So guys, in today's video, we're going to be once again talking about Gigantic, and I'm going to be giving you guys my first impressions after playing the beta for a little bit here. Uh, the beta you can sign up for on their website. They sent out a couple invitations, uh, so those who were really quick to sign up got in. I was lucky enough to be one of those people, so I've been able to play it uh, this morning, and it's been a lot of fun. To quick preface here, if you enjoyed the original game, it's exactly the same, so it's a whole lot of fun. And something that you should, you should definitely be trying out for yourselves if you can get your hands on it. But yeah, we're going to jump into all the details on what I like about the game and what I don't like about the game. And just my initial thoughts on it. So as always, if you're going to enjoy, be sure to leave a like on the video and hit that subscribe button. As we're now getting so, so close to that 1000 sub goal. And any support there would be greatly appreciated. With that out of the way though, let's just get into my thoughts on this game. So, like I said... This game is literally the exact same as it was back in 2017. So if you enjoyed it back then, you're going to enjoy it now. Inside of the beta, you don't get access to any of the two new characters. It's only the same original cast of characters that were in the game back in 2017. And you do not get access to the original mode that was in the 2017 version. In the beta, you're going to get access to the brand new mode, Rush, which is a shorter, more fast-paced version of that same mode. So, me personally, not really a fan of Rush. I much preferred the longer paced, uh, drawn out game mode uh, where you're summoning creatures and able to be more strategic. This new Rush mode kind of just felt like a TDM uh, team deathmatch style of mode, which is great to just get an understanding of the game. But for those who understand the game and want to delve into more detail about its mechanics, you're not going to get that with this rush mode. Also, within this rush mode, you weren't able to gain character levels, it seemed. I remember from playing it back in 2017 that your characters would slowly level up during the match and you'd be able to change their abilities. It seems that with this rush mode, you start out with a set number of abilities already unlocked on the character. Uh, so you've got some upgrades in the upgrade trees that you choose via your builds, which I believe is new. I don't believe there was build options in the game before. Uh, you would just load into a match, select the character, and then you would just go ahead and choose which upgrades you wanted as you went through the game. Whereas now you have the option for it to automatically go through and upgrade it for you. Very interesting. Once again, helps get people into the game and understand it more, which is a good thing. And there's also still the option there to manually pick what upgrades you want if you would like. But yeah, very fun game. I enjoy it very much. Uh, obviously, I've only been playing it solo because none of my friends got access to the beta, so it would definitely be a lot more fun if I had a group to play with. Uh, but that doesn't mean I haven't been having fun just gaming it by myself. It's still a very fun game. The visuals of it are amazing. The characters themselves all have their own personalities, which is very fun to play with. And yeah, it's just a really fun game, and I'm so glad that it is back now. If you didn't see my first breakdown video of all the new news with this game, this game's no longer going to be free to play. So sadly, if you want to gain access to the game in June, you will have to pay, I believe it's 20 quid to gain access to it, but there's going to be no microtransactions in the game itself. So all the skins and stuff will be earnable within the game, which is great. Glad to see that they're not doing the whole free to play microtransaction model. Uh, this will be a bit difficult to get newer players into the game though, but hopefully a word of mouth uh, spreading of good news for this game will help with that and yeah that's basically my first impressions of the beta if i end up paying for the game and getting it in june i'll make a full length review or if my friends end up getting into the beta itself later on i can then make a more in-depth review of my final thoughts on the beta itself but first impressions very very fun same kind of enjoyment that i got out of it back in 2017 so i'm glad to see that it is back now and yeah that's basically it for my first initial thoughts of this game. Leave yours in the comment section down below as always. Let me know if you're enjoying it or you would like to see added and all that good stuff. That's it from me here today. So if you've enjoyed, leave a like, hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.